Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a requested video um, by a friend here on YouTube. Her name is Lip Glossed, and she asked me to do a comparison between my Balenciaga City and my new P Princess Schooler PS1 um, in the medium size. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how each of them come, each of them come, and a little bit about each, and uh, I'll go over her questions. So the first bag I'm going to show you is my Balenciaga City and it comes in this dust bag right here. It just says Balenciaga, it's nice, it's white, and it's pretty thin. So it opens like that, just drawstring top. And here is my Balenciaga City and mine is in the color Ultra Violet. So I did buy this pre-loved from a friend of mine and I got a really good deal on it. Um, but brand new, they are about, looks like I was looking on Neiman Marcus's website and it was $17.95 up to, I think it was in the 2000s. It depends on the exact style you want, the size hardware and, um, the leather and everything like that. Um, when I got this from a friend of mine, it was pretty much in brand new condition. Even the plate on the inside had the little sticker on it. <laughs> so... Yeah, I can speak a little bit more. I've worn it a little bit more recently. And so there's a little bit of wear that I want to talk about. Very, very small. But anyway, this is my um, Balenciaga City. And this to me is the best purple. Or ultraviolet is just deep, deep, beautiful purple. And I love this bag. I don't have many negatives to say about it at all. So that's going to be the first one. The second bag is my Proenzo Schooler PS1 in the medium size, and it looks like this. And currently on Nordstrom's website, it goes for $17.80. Of course, if you go on other websites that have more and different styles and everything, they're going to be a little bit more depending on... Um, some of them have different kinds of straps and stuff, and that just makes it cost a little bit more. But anyway, this one actually has a better dust bag. It's thicker, and it's just... I don't know. Not that it really matters, but it just has a better drawstring and stuff. But... And it looks like this. This is in the color turquoise. And I love it. Okay, so let me move the dust bags. Looking at their sizes, they look, it looks like the Balenciaga is bigger, clearly. However, I was asked which one fits more. And I'm going to automatically say my Proenza Schooler. And even though it doesn't look like it's bigger, all the compartments seriously make it hold more. And on top of that, it just expands a little bit. Like, okay, so, okay, first let me just say how they open and stuff. So this one has the extra pocket on the back, which makes it very handy because I put my phone back there. This one has the pocket in the front. Let me actually see if my, I have the iPhone 7 regular. Yeah, it fits in there perfect. So that fits in there. I don't think a plus would fit, but I'm really not sure, but this, as I just showed you, fits in there perfectly. I also have the um, mirror that it comes with. Sorry, it's a note from my husband. <laughs> but it, I have the mirror that it comes with is in here too. So I've got the mirror and I've got my phone. So those are both fit in there perfect. On the Prince of Schooler bag, I leave this open and I put my phone in there. So it just goes in there perfect. And see, there's a ton of room in here. You can see all the room that's left over. So I really, really like that. Okay, so the openings. This, the Balenciaga City has a zipper opening, which has these little, people have called them like bunny ears and stuff that they hang over. Um, I leave mine hanging out. Some people tuck them in, you can tuck them in like that, or once it's open, you can tuck them in too, but I just leave them hanging out. It has two zipper pulls with these crazy long leather things, and yes, they do get annoying. Um, so getting into it, I would obviously say the parental schooler is easier and I'm going to show you why. Since this one has a zipper, whenever I'm at a store or something, you can't just have it over your shoulder and open it because the way it sags. And then if you have it over your arm, you can't unzip it because it's way back here. So I usually have to hold it and pull it. So that's a pain in the butt. So typically what I end up doing is I leave it open and yeah, I just, I don't close it. So, and I'll just carry it, and when I need to get something out of it, I just open it like this. So there's that one. This one, when I've carried it, I carry it closed. I do not put these little flappy things in there. I leave them hanging open like that. And, you know, if it's over your arm like this, you can just 
and just get right into it. Now, closing it, definitely, you can just carry it like this if you want to, but closing it, you have to pick it up and, you know, put it in there, but it's, it's not that hard and it's a lot easier, especially if you have it over your shoulder, you can just, you know, pop it open, you don't even have to close it, but if you still wanna close it, it's already hanging there, so it's so much easier to close. So as far as getting in and out of it, if you want to close it, the Princess Schooler is so much easier. If you wanna leave it open, obviously the Balenciaga is easier, but you know, it's kind of however you want to carry it. Okay, so do, when I was saying, do they carry the same amount of stuff? Um, no. The Balenciaga, although it appears bigger, I don't feel like I can get as much into it. Um, once it starts getting really full, I don't know. It's, it's a little bit hard to explain without you actually have, like, putting all your stuff in there. Um, when I carry it, typically I will put, I'll just throw my cosmetic pouch in there, my pocket organizer, you know, just all the junk that I normally carry, or I'll just downsize a little bit and I won't carry my cosmetic pouch. I will put all of my cosmetic stuff in the zipper that's in the back, which it is large. This zipper pocket back here, it doesn't look like it would be big, but it opens up and you can shove like everything in there. It's so nice. And I will usually keep that part open. Um, the Balenciaga also has this silver thing on it. I think it's really pretty. Just a nice addition on there. Um, there are two pockets in here too. I don't know if you can see it, but there are two pockets on each side. Let's see if my phone fits in. I've got this little pop socket thing, so it's a little hard to get it in pockets, but let's see. It does fit in one of them. Let's see if it fits in the other. Okay, so my iPhone 7 fits in both the pockets with no problem. If you don't have this pop socket, it'll fit even easier, but it fits in those perfect. That's if you want to carry it on the inside and not on the outside. Um, the Prince of Schooler bag has way more pockets. So the Balenciaga has the zipper on the outside, the zipper on the inside, two inside pockets. The Prince of Schooler has a zipper on the outside. It's got this pocket right here, which seriously, this pocket holds a ton and it expands. So it holds more than you would think. Then it's got this outside zipper pocket right here which again is you know you can secure stuff in there like i will put my wallet and stuff in there then inside it does not have a slip pocket it just has one large zipper pocket but it holds a ton like i put all my cosmetics in there i do not put my cosmetic pouch and then there of course is the giant um pocket that you put everything in there so because that can expand, I feel like I can fit so much more in there. It doesn't make me like that bag more than I like my city. However, you can put more into it and I'm someone that carries way too much stuff. So that ends up being really, really nice. Um, her other question was, I think she was asking which one I like to carry better. That is such a hard question because they are both so pretty and so different. Something about this purple, it's just, this is the exact, like, this is my favorite color. This color is my favorite color. If I had to describe my favorite color, my Balenciaga City in ultraviolet, like, it's just beautiful. Um, I actually don't use that front pocket very much, so I don't really put my phone in there. I usually shove it inside. Gosh, I haven't... I don't know. Um, okay, so the wear on this one, I did a video where I was talking about, you know, I don't, haven't used it that much, so I can't really speak on the wear, but lately I've used it more, and I wish I could find it. It's teeny, 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 tiny, but there is a small, well, where is it? That's going to make me nuts now, because I got the smallest little hole right here. Okay, oh, is there more than one? Oh no. Okay, so this is in the Agno, Agnew, I'm not really sure how to say it, leather, which I was told, I think she said it was lambskin. Very, very um, delicate. Well, anyway, I just found it and I just lost it again, but I made the smallest little, I don't even know if you would call it a hole or if you'd kind of call it a scratch. But I hope that it doesn't get any worse because it's really small. Obviously, it's small enough where I'm having the hardest time finding it. But I can also see there's like a little snag on it right here. And it's got to just be from hitting against my body. Because seeing as I don't use it like a ton, a ton, you wouldn't think there'd be any wear on it. But I definitely did that. And I definitely did it recently, I'm sure. 
So if that gets worse, that sucks for wear because we're not using a bag a ton and well, I don't want to say I'm careful with it because I'm really not, but I don't think that it should tear like that. But this leather is just so soft and as you can see, it's just like a puddle and that, okay, so I was watching those videos of people's, the handbag roast tag, which I was asked to do that and I did not do it because it's not that I find a lot of bags ugly, I find them dysfunctional or too expensive. So anyway, a lot of people put the Balenciaga City on their list and some of their reasons were because of how it looks when it's smushed or when it sits down. They said it was just like a puddle and they didn't like it. But I really, really like it and I think that's a plus. Ooh, there's some wear right here. Nope, wiped off. Let's see if that wipes off. Yeah, it does. Um, I also heard a ton of people say that it fades. I don't know how badly they fade how long it takes for them to fade but it's really sunny here in colorado sunnier than in a lot of places because of the elevation so we're higher up so we're told when we go outside we need to wear sunscreen more often just because of how easy it is to burn and everything here and when i've taken this out i put it you know it's been in the direct sun in my car and everything i haven't had any any change in color yet and I hope that I don't but that might be somewhere down the road so if you're thinking of this one that might be something to think of is that it might dull the Prenz schooler okay so the leather on this one I believe is still lambskin but it's not the distressed kind like my Balenciaga the Balenciaga is more of a distressed kind and as it gets older it looks more distressed and it's more beautiful but as far as I know um, these only get softer and better. I haven't seen any videos where anybody said that theirs has faded in color as well as I did a ton of looking on Pinterest and I looked at a ton of Balenciagas even before I got that one and there were a lot that had discolorations but it was mainly the black ones so I don't know if it's color specific when it happens but looking at the Prince of Schooler ones you don't see any that look really aged. You don't see any that look discolored. So I don't know if they age better or if people just don't own them as long. So that is a really hard one. But this one does feel like the difference between these two. This feels really nice, but really soft, but it does feel more delicate. Like if you're feeling it, it does feel like, wow, that's thin. Wow, that could wear really easy. So. And like I was saying, if I did get a hole in it or any sort of scratch, that would just be for my clothes. So definitely you have to be more careful with that. This feels thicker. It feels, it honestly feels like it's made better. I don't, I don't really know exactly how to explain why. The, um, the hardware on both of them feel just as good. They both also have this really crappy little clasp things on them. Let me see if I can give you a closer look at this. Like, look at that clasp. Like, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't look substantial. And then this is from the Balenciaga. So they're both kind of not very, like, awesome clasps. I think that these look very cheap. They both, I, the Prince of Schooler one feels thicker, more substantial. It's nicer, it clasps easier. The Balenciaga one just feels, I don't know, it just feels cheaper. I'm not saying that it is, because they're both really expensive bags, but it feels cheaper. Okay, so I said this one cost $17.80. I paid a lot cheaper. I got this one pre-loved too. I got it from Fashion File. They had it listed as excellent with no defects. Down below, they had nothing listed. But when I got it, it literally looked like no one has ever used it. I mean, it looks like it was just bought and stored or bought and sold fashion file because it is absolutely perfect. Like the little clasp back here or the little zipper back here, you would think that that would hit your body. There's not even a single scratch on it. It's amazing. And the zipper on here is so good. And the zipper on the front of the Balenciaga one is obviously really, really good. It's just they're harder to close. Um, the wear on these, I haven't had mine split yet, but I can tell that this one is about to this is from the front pocket i can tell that one is about to split but i truly don't mind because like someone else said before you go from two two um little hangy things on here to four it looks like when it split so it's not that big of a deal um but that's something to think about too is that if they split if that's something you don't like i know it's a hard one 
Um, when wearing them over your shoulder, I like the Proenza Schooler better because they're both comfortable and everything and they both hit in an okay spot. But the better thing about this one is since it's already closed, you don't have to worry about the weird way it's gonna sit. The Balenciaga, with or without stuff in it, it tends to hang weird. It hangs better when there's stuff in it, but not a ton better. So I don't really find myself throwing it over my shoulder as much. But they're both edgy bags. They're both different bags. They're something different from everything that I normally buy. I'm normally into Louis Vuitton, you know, everything classic. Um, I've been asked a ton why I didn't go for the backpack or, you know, why I didn't buy the Bichette Matisse. And I've kind of talked about both. Maybe I didn't talk about the backpack, but I'm usually into the more classic things that I think are going to, you know, people are going to like them longer. We're going to like them longer. It's not going to be like a now like I believe the backpack thing is going out super fast I don't think it's going to stay very long and people aren't going to carry them anymore and then I'm going to be like what am I going to do with this thing because I don't want to carry it either I feel the same way everyone else does and I don't want to carry it but you also have to think if you buy either one of these the resale value is terrible terrible for both I mean they're both around almost $1,800 and I bought this one for a fraction more than half off like way more than half off and in brand new condition. This one is in brand new condition and I got it for more than half off. So think about that if you're gonna purchase either one of these. I didn't care because I didn't buy them to resell them. But if you buy your bags and you want to resell them, you need to think about, am I going to get anything for them? Because no, you're probably not. You're probably not gonna get anything for either one of them. You're gonna pay like $1,800 plus, you know, after tax and everything. And you're gonna get like 500 bucks for it. I mean, people don't pay that much. I know you can say, yes they do, but if you wanna sell to Fashion File, you can buy from them and their prices are amazing. If you sell to them, you, you're not gonna get as much as you think you're gonna get. And that's the same with a lot of um, consignment stores because they can't resell them for that much more. So I, when I got my Balenciaga, I immediately went on Fashion File. I wasn't gonna sell it, but I just wanna see what they'd offer me. They offered me, I think like $50 more than what I paid for it. So that would have been amazing. Well, I mean, $50, what's $50? But I'm just saying, like, what if I got it? I barely used it, you couldn't tell. They would have paid me for it and I wouldn't have really taken a loss. But if I had used it now, and if it's got that one spot on it, you know, they're gonna give you way less for it. So you have to think of that too. And then if you're gonna resell it on places like eBay or something, people are already selling them for like $800 and that's, you know, less 50% off and then on top of the $800 you have to think of the fees that you're going to be charged so think of those two they're great to buy pre-loved and I would totally go pre-loved with either one of these I was stocking the PS1 for a really long time on Nordstrom but I was like 1780 I just can't justify it because I feel like if I pay that much I will just sit there and I'll be like well I could have bought a Louis Vuitton for that much because Louis Vuitton is my favorite but now with their quality issue it doesn't matter but I'm just saying, if you're thinking about reselling and stuff, go pre-loved. Definitely I would go pre-loved with either one of these. They're both amazing, amazing bags and I really, really love both of them. And when I switch into them, I have a hard time switching out. Like I had to make myself switch out of this. This is so comfortable. And just the fact that it has so many just pockets, like, I don't know what it is about it. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe I'm just into the flap thing right now. I don't know, but I really, really like it. But then when I use my Balenciaga, I get completely obsessed with it. It's the color, it's the smell, it's intoxicating. Like the smell of this bag is intoxicating. It smells amazing. I just completely love it. And I love it that it's not silver, it's not gold. I don't know what that color is considered. Maybe you could tell me what is this considered, but oh, it's so pretty and it is, does that look like it's wearing badly either? I've got a little spot on there, but I feel like besides the spot I made on and everything else that's gonna happen in this bag, it's just gonna make it look more beautiful. And I hope the same is true with my friends of schooler um, because I'm just into like the slouchy used look of bags. If you follow me and you've seen my other bags, you know almost every Louis Vuitton I have, I've used them so much that they've patinaed a ton and they look really used and I really, really love that look. I hate the way they look when they're brand new. So yeah, if you have any other questions or comments, 
about these bags just let me know down below and I will try to answer them I was gonna do mod shots but since YouTube switched up they used to have it where you could upload your videos onto YouTube and then you could edit them there which I was finding to be really good because I'm really bad at editing and stuff and we have a Mac but I use my HP up here but we have a Mac down in our basement and I don't like going down there but on top of it it just my Mac sucks so whenever like on my last video I tried to add mod shots but it wouldn't put the videos together I have no idea why so I'm just not gonna be able to add them if you do want mod shots of either one of them I have already put them on Instagram but I will also put more if you would like them so just let me know and I will put both of them on there like not a problem um, I will leave links down below to these bags you can find on Fashion File because I advise you get them on Fashion File instead I wouldn't go to eBay because there's too many fakes of both of them and I wouldn't go to places like Poshmark because again you might get a fake and from what I've heard it's very very hard to return on their website so I would definitely go to Fashion File I will also leave a link to Nordstrom um, to get a PS1 I will put it on there and I will put um, Neiman Marcus to find a Balenciaga. It's not going to be the same one for either one because mine are older, which I actually don't know how old this bag is. <laughs> I don't know how to tell. If you know how to tell, please let me know because I have no idea how I know how old this thing is. So that's it. I will see you guys next time. If you have any um, other video requests, leave them down below and I will get back to everyone soon. See you later. Bye.